Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the select these drop downs. So let's begin. There are multiple types of the drop downs. For example, one is known as select based drop down. Others are auto complete. Some are some are having the multiple selections. So there are different kinds of drop downs available. So we are starting with the select mode. So in this tutorial, we will cover the select based drop downs. And after these tutorials, we will cover the other drop downs as well. So first we will understand what are the select based drop down. And for this tutorial, I will be using a website known as saucedemo.com. So let's go to the browser here and go to saucedemo.com. And here uh, you have different users and with the passwords available. So simply what I'll do is that I will use this username here and I will provide this password here and login. So after logging, this is basically a simple sort of e-commerce website. And here you will see that we have different products. You can add these products to the card. Then we have this card here. And furthermore, you can see that we have this drop down here as well. So in this particular website, this drop down is basically a select based drop down. So how you will identify that you are what kind of a drop down you are working with. So simply right click on this one, go to inspect here and here basically you will see a select tag here. So whenever you see a select tag, this means this is a select based drop down. When, whenever we talk about others uh, drop downs like autocomplete and multi possession, there you might not be find this select tag there. So whenever you see select means this is like this drop down and if I click on this one, so you will see a different options with the values here. So there are four options here. You can sort the products from, uh, you know, with the name from A to Z, from Z to A, from price low to high and price high to low. So these are different options here. So again, this is under the select tag. Okay. So what we will do is that we will log in into this website and we will interact with this drop down. Okay. So for this, let's go to the Visual Studio code here and let me create one new file here and I'm naming it as select dropdown.spec.js and the first thing we need is that auto completion help. So ds check here and we need to import the playwright test here so const then we in that we need to provide the test here so const then test so if you are using the assertions which we haven't learned yet but if you are using the assertions so you can use expect here as well and which is equals to require and require will be having the value of the play right here so basically here you need to select add playwright test so this this uh, lines need to be written here and after that now we will start with the test okay and the test is basically the name of a test so i'm saying as handling handling select based drop down and then async and we need page here to incorporate so page and then what we need here is that we need a arrow function here and the body of the arrow function so inside this we will be writing our code so you must be aware of this right now so simply the first thing we need to do is that we need to visit our website so await and then page dot go to and inside this we need to provide a url of the application so let me go back to the browser here and let me click on this one let me log out this one from here so this is the url so let me copy this one and let's provide this url here and the first thing is that 
we need to you know locate the username field we need to provide the username then the password then you will be clicking on the login button here so simply uh, what i'll do is that here if i go here so just go here and go to selector sub and simply just go here and inspect this one so this is uh, xpath here copy this one from here and just go to play right here and again here simply await await then page dot locator and inside this we need to provide a locator and we need to fill our value here so fill method will be used here and what is the username here so simply let's go back and here let's copy this from here standard user and go back here and now similarly we'll go with the password and the login so let me copy this complete line from here and paste it here and similarly paste it here now let's go back here and inspect the password field here and copy the relative xpath from here and now change the locator here and the value of the password is basically secret underscore source so let's copy this one and now we'll provide the password here and the third thing is that we need to click on the login button in order to log in into this particular website so just go inspect this one relative x path copy this one go here provide uh, this locator here for the login button and now we don't need to fill here we just need to click this button so simply dot click method will be used here that's it so now we are done with the basic steps of this test and what we need to do is that so basically after logging into the system we need to to go and select the different value from the select this drop down so let's um, you know log in again here and let me show you different values available there and then based on those values we will be automating that particular drop down so log in this one and after logging in this one so first thing we need to do is that basically we need to locate this drop down right and this is the drop down and now what we will do is that we will simply copy uh, this x path here so you can use any other locator so i'm using the right of x path here so here again await then page dot locator and inside this we need to provide this particular locator and here in playwright we have a method called select option we have a method which is known as a select option so uh, you know we just need to provide the dot here and then select option and now here you can select the option whichever you want so for example here when we talk about the select piece drop down we can select the value in multiple ways so for example if i go here and here you will see that we have a value available right so based on the value we can provide the value here we can also provide the label here okay this is the value this is a label or this is a text and the third thing is indexing so when we talk about the select this drop down this means that we are talking about the indexes here so the first ever the value in this particular is basically on zero index so zero one two and three so so we can actually select values based on the label 
we can select the value uh, select the value using the value option and then the index as well so the first thing um, uh, what we need to do is that simply in the select options here so you will see that we need to provide a string value here and now let's suppose let's go with the one by one so let's go with the for example what is the value of this low to high so the value of low to high is lo hi so let me copy this one go here and provide this value and this is really pretty much you know really simple to work with this one and what i'll do is that i will put some weight here weight page dot weight for timeout and let me add some value here and let's save this one and now we will run this one using command npx play write test minus g name of the test so the name of the test is basically handling select paste drop down and we will be executing this in a edit mode and press enter so it will start execution and see what happens so it will log in and you see that the execution was really fast and it changed the value to from low to high so whenever you log into the application it was not the same one and now what we'll do is that let me show you uh, with this uh, with another value here so similarly for high to low so let me copy this one and let's go back here and let's provide this value here. and again let's run this here and it will now high to low it will select high to low from the select this drop down so you see that so our price is now from high to low this value got selected from the drop down now and now what we will do is that we will be using the label and index so as we learned that the index start from the zero so zero one two so the index for selecting the price low to high will be two zero one and two so here if we need to provide an index here that's pretty much simple again so simply in the curly braces we need to provide for example index and the index colon so whatever index we need to provide we just need to tell this one and that's pretty much easy so index is two so whatever value is present on the index two will be selected here so let me save this one and let's run this again and see what happens so it should you know select the value so low to high is selected because it is on the index two value so let me show you again and with the index one or zero so we can go with the index one here and save this value here and now let's run this here so now the value which is on index one will be selected so on the index one the value is a mean from z to a so the first value is basically we we'll go back here so the first value is name a to z the second value is z to a so zero index a to z one index is z to a then index one is basically zero one and two is basically price low to high and so on and now uh, based on the label we can also sort based on the label here as well so simply what I do is that instead of index, what I do is that uh, I will go with a label here and we need to provide a label here. So basically, when we talk about the label, so label will be provided in a course here. So um, let me go back here and let me copy this value from here. Okay, let's copy this one and paste this value here 
so price low to high low to high based on the label so based on the value based on the index based on the you know value we can do with this one so let's save this one and now let's run this one and see what happens so it should select a value here and you see that price from low to high is selected here and one more uh, thing we can do here is that if we don't you know the value but i will lose that simply if i remove this one from here and simply i provide the label directly or the the text will be provided directly here price low to high and simply run this one and again it should select the value here so you see that the price from low to high is selected here so let's try another value with this one as well so simply we can go here and let's select name z2a so this is again a text or a label so simply let me go here and i can simply directly provide this value here. and save this one and now let's run this again and see what happens so it should select the value name you know starting from the z to a so basically that's how you can work with the select based drop downs in our upcoming uh, tutorials we will learn about the different types of drop downs as well thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial